Hi, みなさん、こんにちは。Welcome to Speak Japanese Naturally. I'm Fumi. Today, I'd like to tell you about ending particles that are used with casual sentences, which is also called tameguchi. I've already talked about ne yo yo ne, and those are actually used a lot. And if you want to know about those, please watch this video. Now let's start with ka. I think many of you have learned ka is a question marker, and that is correct. But in casual speech, I don't think many people use ka as a question marker with a rising tone. For example, if you want to ask the other person, What do you want to drink? Coffee, which will be. Nani no mitai? Kohi? Nani no mitai? Kohi? If you say, Nani no mitai ka? Kohi ka? I don't think many people would say that. And the way of speech reminds me of this girl. Yotsuba. Do you know this one? This is quite popular in Japan. And that reminds me of the way she talks. Her usage of ka is like that. So that makes her character unique because she speaks a little bit different from other people. I don't think many people use ka as a question in Tameguchi. But we use ka in Tameguchi with the falling intonation. For example, soro soro iku ka. Soro soro iku ka. So if I say that to myself, like I'm suggesting myself that I、uh, should go now. And if I say that to someone else, so sorry, ka, I'm suggesting that we should go now. So sorry, ka, so sorry, ka. So we use ka with a falling tone. And other example is like, ah, mo goji ka, mo goji ka. Oh, it's already five o'clock. So if I hadn't realized something, then I realized something, I'd use ka. Ah, mo goji ka, mo goji ka. あこれ犬かあこれ犬か豚かと思ったあこれ犬か豚かと思った The next one is no no can be used as a question or to add a little bit of surprise The usage is like this Noun plus なのな adjective なのい adjective の and the dictionary form plus の So for example as a question you can say like これ犬なの豚じゃないの With the rising intonation. With the falling intonation, you can show the surprise. これ犬なの豚じゃないの Also, if you say it like,、uh, これ犬なのこれは犬なの豚じゃないの Like a statement. This no shows that you, we, you are women. This no makes you sound women. これは犬なの豚じゃないの And also, When you ask a question, if you emphasize no part, it sounds feminine. So, for example, これ犬なの豚じゃないの sounds feminine. これ犬なの豚じゃないの sounds neutral. If you're not women, try not to emphasize no part. これ犬なのこれ犬なの豚じゃないの豚じゃないの Now let's move on to wa. Wa doesn't mean much. Just add that you've decided something, that your idea is something. For example, you can say, Ah, so 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 ikwa. So 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 ikwa. Like, I'm going now. Or after you ate something, you could, you could say, Ah, kore suki da wa. Kore oishi wa. Kore suki da wa. Kore oishi wa. Kore suki da wa. The intonation is important, okay? If you say them like, そろそろ行くわ、これおいしいわ、これ好きだわ、you sound very feminine. Even I don't say that because it's too feminine. So, intonation is important. Let's practice. そろそろ行くわ、そろそろ行くわ、これ好きだわ、これ好きだわ、これおいしいわ。これ、美味しいわ。Next one is じゃん。じゃん。じゃん is a casual contraction of じゃない
which literally means it isn't. But actually, zan means the opposite. It is. So it shows kind of surprise, surprise or confirmation. So for example, you thought this was coffee. So, and you drank it, then you could say, eh, これ cola じゃん. So it was surprise. Eh, これ cola じゃん. これ cola じゃん. Or, ne, watashi no megane shiranai? Ne, watashi no megane minakatta? You can say, eh, atama ni aru jan. Atama ni aru jan. Now let's practice. Kore, cola jan. Kore, cola jan. Eh, atama ni aru jan. Eh, atama ni aru jan. The next one is desho. Desho. Okay, so desho is a casual contraction of desho. Desho. I think usually it's used by women. So for example, これ kawaii desho. これ kawaii desho. And if you are said desho, you need to say yes or no. Usually yes. これ kawaii desho. うん。kawaii ね. And これ oishi desho. And だから言ったでしょ? だから言ったでしょ? So I told you. Now let's practice. これ、かわいいでしょう。これ、かわいいでしょう。これ、おいしいでしょう。これ、おいしいでしょう。だから言ったでしょ。だから言ったでしょ。I guess the last one, I, I don't think you should say that much because uh, the person who are told this doesn't like it. Okay, so that's about it for today. I hope this helps you speak casually. And if you have any questions, please write them down in the comment box below. And if you like this video or if you learned something new, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching until the end. Bye! Ciao! Mata ne!